What's going on guys? This is David here with Sheepdog Services here in beautiful South Mississippi. Today I got a few yards I'm gonna take care of. Uh, I'm trying out the long sleeve blue shirts that I got. Y'all know how I feel about them. I didn't think it uh, it makes any sense to wear long sleeves in the summertime, but we're gonna see how it does. I'm willing, for, I'm willing to try something out if it's gonna help. So y'all hang tight. Hope y'all enjoy the videos. If you do, give me that thumbs up. And uh, if y'all haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Y'all enjoy.
is number five for the day. Uh, if y'all remember, that's the one that I did the uh, backyard cleanup. And uh, I talked him into doing every other week just because that backyard is, it's gonna be overgrown every single time if I don't uh, if I don't get it taken care of or taken care of every, uh, every two weeks. So with that being said, did y'all see the stripes that wanted to be on? Wanted to wanted to show up. Those things were looking pretty decent, even though it is weeds and everything for the south anyway. But uh, I believe if he wanted it striped up, I could I could probably get it to do pretty pretty doggone good. Anyway, on to the next one, guys. Hope y'all enjoying. Hey guys, so I haven't done a uh, motivational quote in a while, so today's gonna be compressed. We're gonna have three of them compressed together. Cause I think they all relate to each other and three different people actually said them. Uh, the first one's gonna be Ralph Nader. He said the function of leadership is to, is to produce more leaders, not more followers. And I believe that right there rolls right into what Henry Ford said. Paying attention to the simple little things that most men neglect makes a few men rich. And what I, how I feel, uh, see that those two uh, complement each other is if you're making if you're getting on to your people and you're trying to mold somebody into being a leader and you have them paying attention to the very smallest details and having them making sure that every small task is completed like it's supposed to be like it's like it's meant to be everything's looking like it's supposed to be then whenever you tell them to go out and you may have a a, a big task you know that they'll they'll take care of that big task and everything will be completed like it's supposed to. And it goes right back, goes right into the reverse. If uh, you if you got somebody that can't complete a small task, how can you depend on them to complete a large task? If you can't depend on somebody to go out and cut, trim, blow, edge, and go, how can they go out and do a, uh, a water feature? How can they go out and do a big mulch job? How, do you, how can you have that, that confidence that they can take care of that and it be done right? So with that also being said, the third quote, I can't, I can't recall where I've seen it or, or who said it, but uh, it went, uh, we are what we repeatedly do, so excellence is not an act, but it's a habit. So if every day you wake up and you go out and you make sure that your mower, the oil is, is like it's supposed to be, the blades are sharp, the every job that you do, you, you're doing it absolutely correct. You're you're striving for excellence every single day. Then it's not just an, an act. You're not just it's not just something that you just get up and do because you know you think you got to do it. It becomes a habit. It's like breathing. Like if you don't do it, you can't you can't focus. You can't you can't go throughout the rest of your day. It's kind of like yesterday's video. I said I saw that one weed sticking up. I could have simply just drove on past me, all right, it's just one weed. But the excellence of me is going out there, picking that weed up by hand, getting it out the way so that it looks good. Guys, that's going to be my motivation for today. I hope this helps one of you. If it does, hey, great. I hope y'all go out and crush it. And uh, y'all finish watching the video and enjoy. Thanks. Well guys, I got to eat a little crow today. I'm wearing the long sleeves, and there for a while, you know, I couldn't, I could never imagine myself wearing long sleeves while cutting grass outside in the summer heat down here in South Mississippi. It's just, to me, it just didn't make any sense. After wearing them all day today, getting up to 92 degrees, yeah, it was hot, but it wasn't. It, it, it was. I think the long sleeves helped out a lot more than if I was wearing short sleeves. So I think I'm gonna go with the blue. I like the blue color. And cause they, I can only get them in blue or either the, the safety yellow. And I kinda like the blue. Not a lot of people's wearing the blue around here where I'm at. So hopefully that all sticks out. And anyway. All right guys, so the video got cut off by a phone call. I got called about another property to go look at. Um, I, took, I took it on, I went ahead and knocked it out, but I didn't film on it or anything. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy the videos. And uh, if y'all got any other kind of questions or anything like that, leave it down in the, the comment section down below and I'll get back with y'all. All right, until next time, y'all take it easy. <laughs>